Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mega Minecraft here, and me and Muhammad Nay just found a pretty cool base we're raiding. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take all this. Holy moly. This is a huge raid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Um... Oh my gosh, this is epic. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, ho, ho. I don't even know what this faction is because their the land was unclaimed. We were just flying over the ocean and then we just heard a turret and we're like, hey, I wonder what the heck's in here and bam. Before you know it, we broke in and wow. Okay, what's in here, what's in here, what's in here, and what is in here? Um, we got some power 3 and power 4, I'll take that. We got the leather. Well, I'll take the leather and the books, totally. Um, we don't need any of this extra steak right here. We got some of this stuff. We got Enderium. I'm really looking into this thing, though. Like, that was a lot of cool stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh wait, there's gunpowder in there. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Do 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 do. Mhm. Wow. Okay. They really need to make gunpowder craftable again. Like just like I said before, you know, in the Fatam Reborn video, like banning gunpowder was. Sort of a dumb move on their part. Not yet, sir. I am raiding. I'm sorry, but raiding has... Okay, I will admit this is a pretty good base, and normally I wouldn't just raid on the spot. But this base was completely hidden, and I don't know anybody in the faction. Okay, then how I figured out who the faction was is I just looked at the turret right here. And it said, owner is Steven the Goat. So if we do FF Steven the Goat, we can see he's part of this faction who I don't even know is part of. So that's why we're going to raid them, because I don't know them. If I knew them or I helped them out in the past, I would, I would honestly just promise not to raid them, because I'm normally a generous person. But... Jeez, an opportunity like this when I'm in the condition that I'm in right now, you gotta, you gotta just jump your chances, you know. But you, you know, with the current server, I totally understand that this is an unclaimed vault. I mean, it's the only way you can really even live anymore, and it's really sad. But you know, sometimes you just gotta live the life the way you have to live, live your life, and that's that. You can't really, can't really change how things work. So. So guys, if you're wondering, their vault is over here. This room was hidden.
Okay, it looks like they had a lot of Barrett ammo. Ooh, they had the L96, but then the L96 was um, taken. Ooh. I don't know how good that gun is, but I know that this gun can be pretty cool. Seems like they like to put the EO tech sight on this thing. I don't know, MP5. So you got the drums, but the drums are gone. Um, we got some Desert Eagles. That's pretty cool. I like the gold Desert Eagles, because you can, like, dual wield them. Mmm. And I don't want to blow up this place either because I respect it. Like I said originally, I don't like to blow up bases completely. I mean, sure, I broke the reactor so they can actually break in, but that was it. So let me just come on over here and, uh... Whoa, wait, did I even just take this or am I glitching out my inventory? Okay, there we go. So let's come on over here. Let's fix up their reactor. Oh my gosh. Do I need to like do that again? <laughs> yeah, just don't pull up this place. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's pretty cool. This energy cube seems pretty nice too. I'm just going to check all this stuff for secret things. It looks like they have these charged Surge Quartz fixtures. I actually quite like them. So I might keep them. Yeah, look at how nice these guys look. Jeez. They actually emit a strong amount of light. I'm liking this. Yeah, I think that's it for this raid, guys. But it was pretty good. you got to admit it. It was pretty good. I think I might end it off here. Um, props to this guy's turret, though. I, tr I literally tried to blow it down for ages, and I couldn't blow it down. Oh, look. There is a pretty cool hammer. You can keep that, sir, because, once again, I'm not going to be that rude. Here's one. This is the final chest that I've never really checked, so I'm just going to take everything. Oh, I want to take the heads from it, though, because I like to collect all the wonderful people on the server. Not trying to say that in a weird way, okay? I... I I'm not trying to say, like, I'm just trying to collect people's heads, because that's... Jeez, that's just weird. Okay, but... Okay, I'm just going to remind him not to blow up anything. Okay, there, 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 there. We got that head there. Ooh, we got a mixed block with a sticky piston and a piston. Wait, wait, I need to get out. I need to get out and show you guys something really awesome. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, watch this. So, guys, if you do this. Okay, watch this. Apparently they cannot mix with a piston, that's pretty weird. Okay, remember, don't blow up. Because it's a pretty cool base. Sorry guys, I might not be editing out this video because it is pretty short. But I did hope you guys all enjoyed. We're not gonna, we are not gonna blow up the space because that's the right thing to do for what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to relog after this. But hey, look at that cool, cool full piston block. That's pretty dope. Okay.
<laughs> Anyways, hey, it looks like they got an output chest here, actually, so I'm just gonna snag some seared bricks, because I need to make some seared stuff, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to end off the episode here, guys. We'll see you guys all later. Goodbye. <laughs>